Express store in San Francisco's Union Square has become the latest in the area to announce plans to shut down. And a famed North Beach Italian restaurant also now planning to close its doors. But as KTV's Henry Lee reports here, there are signs that more businesses are now ready to move in to some of the city's vacant storefronts. No, no, the, I, I sad because too many stores are closing. That is the, the problem. Here. Daniel Gill stopped by the Express store at Gary and Powell in San Francisco's Union Square, which will close on October 22nd. Gill spent about $140, taking advantage of closeout sales with up to 90% off. I know the, the rent became very, very high, you know, for the stores. The, well, also for houses and, yeah. The pandemic don't help. There aren't any other locations like this on the square, so it's a great piece of real estate. Kelly Lukens works in marketing at the nearby Weston St. Francis Hotel, which will celebrate its 120th anniversary next spring. One store closing, obviously we're sad to see them go, but I think they'll quickly be replaced and, um, and it's not going to be an overall impact to um, our customers coming to stay with us. Banana Republic announced it's move to a new spot on Geary Street in Union Square. A little more than a mile away, North Beach Restaurant at Stockton and Columbus will close for good after New Year's Eve. It's time, but uh, it was a fantastic run. I'm sad to see it go. I've met incredible people. Leo there. Petroni's late father, Lorenzo Petroni, helped open the famed Tuscan Eatery five decades ago. It's time for a new generation of uh, restaurateurs to come in uh, to an area, North Beach, which is having a resurgence. And anytime we lose a business, it's not good. Daniel Maccarini sits on the board of the North Beach Business Association. You know, I have to balance that against, again, the new businesses that are opening and the vitality of North Beach. So the question now is if and when any other businesses will now step in to fill their place. In San Francisco, Henry Lick, KTVU, Fox 2 News.